A lot of people want to know about these Chinese rotavaps that flooded the online market. This is the 5 liter RE501 that you can find on Amazon or eBay. Uh, that's really common. Um, if you'd like to check it out, click my link below. As far as a review goes, I've had this instrument for roughly a year and a half, uh, so I thought I'd do a bit of an update. As you can see, I have it hooked up to an anti-freeze chiller, low vac pump. I have the standard water bath that's just the hand jack and a three liter waste collector. Uh, in this case, I actually have a 2440 ground glass joint adapter so I can put on standard, in the US, standard ground glass um, adapters, joints, bump traps, etc. Uh, I use the Lovac to fill bulk solvent and condense it down into smaller glassware as you can see I'm doing here. Uh, one of the biggest benefits to this instrument, as you can see through my link, is that they're cheap and they're available. They come pretty quickly on freight. I think it took a couple weeks for us to receive ours and it's pretty much a plug and play option. As far as the glassware and instrument itself, I think the largest advantage is this little evacuation nozzle through the waste receiver. It makes it really easy because uh, dismantling this apparatus is pretty difficult to get rid of your solvent that you collect. One of the largest disadvantages for the speed controller is that you can only go just above 100 revolutions per minute which I find to be pretty slow for some applications. The hot water bath is really standard, it's just a hand jack. I just turned it down from 50 degrees to 30, but it's really programmable, nice, quick, seems to work well. And here I have it hooked up to a low vap pump with a regulator and just a quick disconnect because I use this vacuum in my hood for other applications. And again, a anti-freeze chiller set around negative 30 with insulated lines. When you really get the distillation rate cranking up, it actually collects really well. I was worried about the connection glassware uh, piling up solvent waste, but no, it works really well. I've cleaned it out a few times and it's still in great shape. This is actually an adapter I purchased for the instrument. The screw cap you see here comes standard with the instrument, but I needed 2440 ground glass adapters. This, you, what you see here, is the actual glass shape that fits the instrument. But I wanted to be able to hook on bump traps of various sizes and things like that. So under the screw cap, there's a little grommet, just a little plastic grommet. And these two together, along with the five liter glassware, are what comes standard with the instrument. So here you can see that cap on and grommet over uh, you can fit the instrument really easy, and with the adapter you have to buy in addition, I'm able to use most of my standard U.S. glassware sizes. What's interesting about the vapor duct setup is that it's actually immobilized and the glassware is rotated around it, so this seal is actually pinched and doesn't move when you use the instrument. It's held up well, I haven't replaced it in a year and a half and actually like the system. So if you're looking for a simple workhorse rotavap that's pretty dependable, I think this is actually a really good unit. 
It's been tried for a year and a half in our lab with zero problems, and I think you can put your trust in these instruments. Again, this is the RE501 Chinese Rotary Evaporator. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.